again. Uh, back with our step-by-step -step prepping uh, video series. Uh, new preppers start here. Uh, we are now on step number four. Uh, step number three was water filtration and storage. Step number two was six-month food supply, canned goods, freeze-dried goods, you know, whatever, dry goods. Step number three was sanitation. And today, step number four is security, okay? If you don't have steps one through three done yet, then wait before you start this step. Get those first three steps done. Uh, that's vital important. Water and food is very, very important. Sanitation also very, very important. So today, step four, we're talking about security here. Um, now that you have a stockpile of food and water and sanitary supplies, it's time to start thinking about how you want to secure your home uh, to keep out those who might come and harm you and take your supplies that you've put away so thoughtfully. Uh, so, you know nothing about guns. You've never shot a gun. You've never owned a gun. What gun should you purchase first? You should purchase a shotgun first, okay? Uh, unless you are a lady and you feel like you can't handle a shotgun, then you can go to a small handgun. Uh, but I suggest the best home defense weapon is a 12 gauge shotgun. Or you can do a 20 gauge shotgun. There are so many types of rounds. Uh, there's hunting rounds for shotguns, self defense rounds, slugs. There's a plethora of types of ammo for this. Uh, you can use it to provide food for yourself, and you can use it to secure your home and to secure your supplies. So, first, uh, first firearm purchase will be a shotgun. That is my opinion. Uh, okay, after you've required a shotgun and you've, and you've learned to shoot it and you've taken any training that you feel like you need to take, you target practice with it, uh, You've gotten to know your firearm very, very good. You can start stocking some ammo for your shotgun. Uh, here we have some buckshot loads. These are uh, Warman Express. Y'all see that? Uh, buckshot, uh, good for home defense. You have bird shot, you have deer shot, uh, which is buckshot, and slug. Slugs being more like a rifle bullet. Okay, um, next, ammo storage. Uh, I actually use both. This is a plastic um, ammo box. I also use the metal ones. The military, uh, the 50 cal and the 30 cal uh, metal military surplus ammo boxes or ammo crates, whatever you want to call them. I use both actually. So, uh, if I'm going to put something in the ground or try to hide it, I prefer metal. But for something just for storage in your home, the plastic ones will do. And they are cheaper. Now, like I said, if you're a lady, if you're a single mom, uh, I suggest a small handgun. You can start out with a 22. This particular one is a 380. But uh, you can start out with something small, a 22. Make sure if you do not feel safe with it, get some training, y'all. Uh, training will help you more than anything. That's supposed to be. That gun is now safe. Uh, it's uh, unloaded and safe. So uh, get you some training. Uh, you don't have to just go and pick one. Go to a range. Rent a couple of different types of handguns. Get the one, uh, talk to your trainer. Get the one you think is right for you. If you're a lady and you're starting out, I would suggest a 22, uh, long rifle caliber. Uh, something to protect yourself with. 
they go in a purse real nice. Uh, they're easy to hide in a purse, or if you want to carry it on your person, you can do that. Get a holster, okay? Carry it in a holster. You can do that either way. Another option is a larger handgun. This here is a 9mm. This has a home defense light on it. Uh, uh, a good utility light here on the weapon is good for home defense. You can uh, hit that button right there with your finger, uh, turn your light on, uh, light up the target if you need to. Uh, good home defense weapon, 9mm. Both of mine are Glocks. You choose whatever brand you like the best. Oh, so. You can, uh, okay, storage again. I went over this, but uh, short term storage uh, in the cardboard boxes is fine uh, for two to three months worth of storage. No problem. Okay, no problem at all. But for long term storage, you want to remove these rounds from the cardboard packaging. Cardboard will absorb moisture and it will cause problems with your ammo on a long term situation. I prefer these. These are case guards, they're plastic. This, these are 22 rounds right here. Uh, okay, 22 magnum. So you can, uh, they give you a little sticker to put on here to identify what the ammo is. These things. Three or four bucks a piece just for the plastic container and then you buy the ammo for it. So for long term storage, something like this is a good option. Or you can just store them loose in the uh, ammo crate itself. Either way, it's fine. I'm a, I'm a bit weird about how I store my ammo. I like, the, uh, I like these because they're 100 count. You know when you have this, it's 100 rounds. They're easy to count, easy to keep up with. MTM case guard on Amazon. You will find those. So that is today's video. Uh, security. Again, if you do not feel comfortable with a firearm, uh, go get some training. Go to a range or find um, a father figure or an uncle or somebody who is trained who has knowledge of firearms. You can do that as well. Uh, don't just go get a gun and think, okay, well, I'm good now. I've got a gun. If you don't know how to use that tool, it will do you no good, okay? So, uh, knowing the training, knowing the basic rules, uh, always paying attention to what's beyond your target, very, very important, okay? Uh, so, it's time for some security options. Now that you have these items stockpiled, steps one, two, and three, it's time to think about some sort of security. Even if it's just one firearm, if that's all you can do right now, do it, okay? That's today's, uh, that's today's video. I appreciate you all watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Romans 12, 21, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Uh, again, you're not wanting to kill or uh, anybody. You're wanting to stop them from breaking in your home. You're wanting to stop them from hurting your family. You or your family. Y'all have a blessed day. This is Farmer Son Prepping. Thank you for watching.